Yeah, what's going on you guys? I just wanted for entertainment to go over some news that we have about Russia in The Guardian, which is a huge United Kingdom uh, newspaper. Let's discuss them. So the first we have US claims Russia planning false flag operation to justify Ukraine invasion. As someone who is in Russia, I can tell you there is no way um, they're doing this. So it's fake news. Russia is not going to attack um, Ukraine or invade Ukraine or do any of those um, things. Uh, next. Russia threatens military deployment to Cuba and Venezuela as diplomacy stalls. Let's check it out. Russia has refused to rule out a military deployment to Cuba and Venezuela. If talks on the West... Okay, what does Cuba and Venezuela have to do with European security in Ukraine? In an apparent attempt to up the ante with the Biden administration, Sending military assets to Cuba and Venezuela if talks fail. Okay, again, if talks fail regarding Ukraine, Russia sends military to Cuba and Venezuela. Firstly, Cuba and Venezuela are two independent countries, so if someone wants to send something to those countries, I think we should leave it to those countries to decide on what happens. At the end of the week, have produced the preparing this playbook again. I don't know why are they constantly scaring people into thinking that something terrible is going to happen. NATO chief warns of real risk of conflict as talks with Russia over Ukraine end. Well, Ukraine is not in NATO, uh, so I don't know. Maybe you should let Russia and Ukraine deal their stuff, deal, you know, between themselves. And I'm not saying this as somebody anti-American at all. I'm actually, I want America to do well. Like, I want the country to do well. I'm just saying, what does America have to do with Russia and Ukraine and NATO, whatever? America needs to take care of her own problems. There's like homeless people. In San Francisco, not in Ukraine. Kazakhstan, Russian-led military bloc to start withdrawing troops. Okay, well, how come they don't have a problem with the Russian military in Kazakhstan? If they had such a problem with Russian military in Ukraine. It is our house. Mood in Kiev, calm, despite threat of Russian attack. Oh my god! Russian attack! Everybody hide! They're gonna nuke everybody. Uh, is there any kind of good news on this stupid Guardian? US ready to discuss Kirby military exercises in Ukraine. Why are they doing military exercises? What did US lose in Ukraine? I mean, come on. US Secretary of State says diplomatic solution to Ukraine is still possible. Crisis. There is no crisis in Ukraine. It's fine. They they are making it seem like there is a crisis. Arrested Ukrainian opera director. Uh, Ukraine invades. Can we have some news besides Ukraine invasion, please? Why are these news so scary? Like, every, every single piece of news is negative. There is not a single good thing they have to say. Gas hike of more than 30% stokes home bill's fears in Europe. Well, guess what? Like, that's a good thing. Okay, well, I mean, not, not, not a Russia, like, invade the world type of thing. But gas prices hike in Europe is not because of Russia. It's because they freaking destroyed their gas infrastructure. Five of the world's most powerful nations pledged to avoid nuclear war. Thank God. All, such scary news. Dude, is the English like... I mean, are they always this negative? Do they have anything good to say? Because it's just... 
Very, very depressing. Very, very depressing. Oh, Gorbachev. They, li they liked Gorbachev because he destroyed the Soviet Union. <laughs> but guess what? People in Russia don't like Gorbachev that much. But anyway, I think this is good. If you, li if you guys like this type of thing, uh, let me know. I think it's a good type of segment where I review all the news about anything. Right now it's about Russia, but I could do other things.